Hey, what's up guys? JC here, and this is how you bind your FreeSky XM receiver. Before we can do that, we need to set up the transmitter. So let's go to that. You want to press the menu button to go to your models. Select whichever model you want to use this receiver for. Press the page button to go over one page. And you can scroll all the way down, but I just scroll up to go to the bottom of the page. And you need to set the mode to D16 mode because it's a SBUS receiver. Then make your channels 1 to 16 because it has 16 channels. If you have already bound a SBUS receiver on a different model, then you may need to change this number and find one that you haven't used yet. So for example, if I try to click this, it's going to say model ID already used because I already have that channel set to a different model we'll have to find one that I have not used yet okay six works at least for me um, it might be a different number for you now let's talk about uh, wiring it to be able to get power because we need power to bind it so if you face it like this the way I, I have mine faced with the antenna on top and also this big chip on top uh, the reason I say this is top because we have the LEDs right here and we need to be able to see the LEDs on this end, I have uh, this black wire is going to my ground. In the middle, you will have power, which I have a blue wire. Normally, they're red. It doesn't matter what color it is. And then on this side, this is your SBUS signal wire. You don't need the SBUS wire for now to bind it. Uh, you just need power and ground, at least. The easiest way to get power to this is just going ahead and wiring this into your flight controller. If you're not sure how to do that, just watch my next video. I'll leave a link to my FreeSky XM playlist where you will find that video. Uh, just look in the description below for that link. Most flight controllers nowadays, once you plug in a USB cable, that will power the flight controller, but also send 5 volts to all the 5 volt pins, which will also power the receiver. Uh, now, if your flight controller doesn't have that ability, then you will have to plug in a LiPo battery and uh, power your receiver that way. But we don't actually want power going to the receiver right now. Once you have this set to D16 mode, which channels 1 to 16, you have found a receiver number that you have not used yet, then you can go ahead and click enter to bind, and it's going to chirp. As this is chirping, you will see a button right here. It's got uh, like a yellowish tint over it. It's a really small button, but you want to hold that button in, and then apply power to it. So I'm holding this button in, I'm just going to plug in my flight controller. And if you see this, I'm getting a, a solid green light with a blinking red light. Once you see that, you can release the button and then power off the receiver. Press the enter button to stop the binding. And then apply power to the receiver again and you should now get a solid green light. If you have the solid green light, then this means that it has been properly bound and everything is working. If you held in the button and then you applied power and you did not get, if you were getting a solid green light and a solid red light, then this means that your firmware uh, from the receiver is not compatible with the firmware on your transmitter. And I'm not talking about firmware versions or numbers, I'm talking about there is a uh, EU, also known as LBT, version of firmware, and then there is a like a non-EU or FCC version of firmware. They have to match. So if your transmitter uses the FCC version of firmware, you have to have that on this receiver. If your transmitter uses the LBT version of firmware, then you have to have LBT on the receiver. If you don't know how to uh, flash new firmware to your receiver or change from LBT to FCC or vice versa, then look in the playlist and uh, you should find a video on how to do that once I upload it. I haven't made it yet, but uh, just check back in the playlist and it might be there. And that does it for this video, guys. Your receiver is now bound. Uh, you can check out the playlist to continue on uh, where I show you how to connect it to a flight controller and get all of your channels up and working and much more. So thanks for watching and I will see you again soon.